So one of the things we always like to do on App Talks is get some peer-to-peer -peer advice. So I want to ask both of you, uh, gentlemen, if right, we'll start with you. If I was in your shoes now, where you were three years ago, what advice would you give me? Boy, start with the process, right? So you don't really have to worry about the software anymore. Back in 2002, when we were first doing this thing, the software was kind of a pain. Configuration took a long time. Those days are gone. Salesforce is super fast to configure. Anaplan is super fast to configure. Instead, focus on your business process and start to realize that because of the spreadsheets that are in the middle of it, you might have some limitations in there that you can get rid of now, but you kind of have blinders on that you can't see it. So if you start with that process first and really get that to where you want, being able to design that in the tool now, boy, I mean, it literally takes days and weeks. It's really not hard at all. Exactly. And one of the key things that you highlighted, align on that process and align on it globally. Because mm. right yeah. now, what you're doing in Germany yeah. and what you're doing in the UK and what you're doing in America are probably three different right. models that use three different calculations. Yeah. You standardize in Anaplan, and now they're all calculating the data the same way which is a key benefit, but it also takes some time because you have to standardize on that. Yeah. You don't want to have three different Anaplan models. That's exactly right. The other part of it is your spreadsheets are all two-dimensional. So you've got rows, you've got columns. Mm -hmm. Now Anaplan is multi-dimensional. Yeah. So take the time to think about the multi-dimensionality of it because you're going to save space, you're going to have better performance. It's not recreating the rows and columns of your um, right. favorite spreadsheet. Use the power of Anaplan for better performance and better models, and quite frankly, better usability. Yeah, I, I think the other thing that I would add is, it's good to start with a, with a, with a good partner. Have a solid partner at the beginning. Uh, because you do have to think about it in a different way. You sort of don't realize the limitations that you put on yourself. And it is sort of a spreadsheet on steroids. It's a platform that's this multidimensional thing. You got to learn how to think as a modeler. Sometimes that can be tough the first time you're out. So to have a good uh, partner to help you with the implementation helps. But the nice thing is, it's not a bunch of code and, and like hardcore configurators. And so you can build your own center of excellence over time and expand to additional use cases. Because I'm telling you, it will happen. That's what we've seen. Great. Well, thanks, Brett and Jeff, very much for being here today. I enjoyed speaking with you. And thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you on the next App Talks.